Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how a controller and viewer interact together. Before I do that, uh, I will quickly go over how uh, my Zen framework is installed on my Linux machine here. The documentation describes the installation process pretty well, so I will go over this very briefly. Uh, when you download the compressed archive and you extract it, this is what it looks like. Now, what makes Zen Framework 1.8 release special from others is that it comes with new command line tools, uh, which happen to be in this bin folder. Uh, what I did is I added that bin folder to my uh, path, so that uh, no matter where I am, I can always type in ZF and have access to uh, the Zen command line tools. If you do not want to add your uh, Zen Framework installation directory to your path, then to access the command line tools, all you have to do is to navigate manually to the uh, bin directory every time and execute the ZF um, from there. In my case, I'll just have to type in ZF. So, to create a new Zen Framework project, uh, command line tools provide us with a uh, simple utility create project and then a project name after that I'll just call it ZF tutorial and it creates uh, a folder ZF tutorial uh, let's just look at what's inside of it uh, we have application folder that includes the directories that we were talking about in the previous tutorial, controllers, models, and views. Also got configs there. Uh, controllers got some uh, default controllers, index and error. There's nothing in models, and we got views, scripts, index again. Um, I will show you in details exactly what each of those directories mean. Uh, then we also have public, tests, and library. The library is where the actual Zen framework components reside. Uh, these files are the MVC uh, layout, uh, while the actual Zen framework is going to be sitting inside of library. That is where all the classes are going to be called from. Uh, so I'm going to put in the Zen framework itself right here, copy it here. So this way my application will have access to all Zen framework features. I almost finished copying now. Okay, it's finished. Uh, so now I will go over to my editor uh, so we can look at each of these files individually. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna create a new project I'm going to make it a simple PHP project, uh, ZF tutorial, uh, and um, webdev ZF tutorial. That's where everything is. Never mind that. And there we go. So here's our directory structure. Now, Aptana Studio is what I'm using, created this um, extra index.php file, which we don't want, so I'll just remove that out of here. Okay, so now you've seen exactly how I started my project. Uh, I created uh, the MVC layout using uh, Zen Framework command line tools. I've put the Zen Framework components into the library folder, which we can also see from here, and I've uh, added the directory to my project folder of Aptana Studio. Uh, before we go much further, let's also um, see what the uh, from the website point of view. So here we go. This is my Apache installation, localhost, ZF tutorial here. And uh, this is the directory as you see from Apache. Now this is why I'm uh, showing you how showing you all these details from each uh, individual view, one from the development, one from the uh, Apache. Uh, because uh, all the requests 
are going to come in from one single file which is this index.php instead of public so you're going to set up your uh, h uh, your apache server to redirect all requests to index.php uh, instead of the public directory uh, i just left it as it is for the tutorial sake uh, but in your real server environment make sure that this is your root directory this is the, the public that's going to be your root that's where you want to point your web server uh, this is done for security so that uh, your um, visitors may not accidentally look at your files in the library or your application then there is this HD access file that um, helps the controller and viewer to work in a specific way that you're going to see in a second so uh, let's see what the Zen ZF command line tools have done for us by going to public folder and here we see uh, the default page showing us that we've successfully installed Zen framework and ready to start developing a project but what do we see we don't really see any of that stuff in index.php file we see all of this um, define variable um, sorry defining constants and so on 